Hey guys, and welcome to the season finale of The Walking Dead, season one, which is called No Time Left. So, there really is no time left, guys. I'm just saying, like, there's no time left for anyone, really. So now I'm going to recap all the choices in every episode. So, episode one. I was honest with Herschel. I saved Sean. I sided, I, I sided with Kenny and defended him. I refused to give Irene the gun. I chose to save Doug instead of Carly. And starved for help. I chopped off David's leg. I shot Jolene. I helped kill Larry, I didn't kill any brothers, and I didn't steal from the car. In episode 3, Long Road Ahead, I chose not to shoot the girl, I l abandoned Lily, I talked down Kenny, I shot Duck, and I helped Omid instead of Krista, and then on the last episode, episode 4, Around Every Corner, I killed the boy in the attic, I was rational and honest with Vernon, I brought Clementine with me with, to Crawford, I didn't let Ben fall to his death, I almost accidentally did, and finally I decided to show the bite, and everyone that's with me is Lee, Kenny, Omid, and Krista. So now let's begin the season finale of The Walking Dead Season 1. No time left. Episode five. I'm super excited for this. Oh, on the Walking Dead. Some what serious leg. Oh, home and I'm not there. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Baby, you gotta see this. Here's wow, all the way to the beginning. Batteries. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House. Yes, that's it. This is every episode. You town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Why? Clementine. Clementine. And then Lee got bit. That isn't really what happened, but you know. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. She's my family now. She's all I got. Hell. In the end, family's all that matters. Maybe you should stay with the boat. Okay. Sure. I should have drawn with me, but it's fine. Clementine. And now the episode begins. Here we go, guys. Get super hyped. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her Tell back, and nobody needs presents. to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you, Vernon? You son of a bitch! Vernon, association with Scout, Skybound Entertainment. Here we go. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. Okay, that's a good line. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This is the kidnapping. Okay, that's different. Then what is it? Then what is it? A rescue. Why? Am I the bad guy? <laughs> yeah, why not? Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back.
How's that feeling? <laughs> I can't take this feeling anymore. Okay, I saw Okay, for now. Yep. Yeah, totally. <laughs> we don't have much time. Yep. Hence the title, No Time Left. We're about to have a lot less. <laughs> we'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Thanks. We'll try to find another way out of here. I are smart. Do I have to do this quickly? Like, is this at all time based? Yeah, I thought nothing would be in there. I'm not gonna explore much. I won't be able to open it. I can't get my hands in between the doors. I'm the smartest. <laughs> okay. No wait, surgical supplies. Just some surgical supplies. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, these last two episodes are gonna be short. Shit. This is a morgue. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Looks like Vernon and his people cleared their shit out of here in a hurry. Where the hell did they go? Any luck opening that elevator? Nope. Yet. The doors are shut tight. Need to find something to pry them open. We'll do it then. This door won't hold forever. Oh, I was hoping you might have sign. Uh, nothing useful in here. Crap. Can't those things let up for a fucking minute? <laughs> Just keep looking for another way out. I got this. Thanks, Kenny. You're the best. Trouble? There's thousands of dead filling the sewers, and God only knows how many up top, so, you know. <laughs> Remember, all these people are optional. I could be completely I alone. The elevator shed. But the doors are stuck. Well, there's got to be something around here you could pry them open with. Look around. I love how they're getting annoyed. Um, I forget if I check this one. There we go. That might be useful. Looks like a color jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Take it, yeah. Okay. Can I jam this in between? Yeah. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Queue it up. Oh. I thought I was gonna have to queue it up. Oh no, he's game weak. Crap. This isn't good. Not now. Yeah, we get it. Telltale. Episode 5. No time left. There really is no time left. I'm telling you. There isn't time to do crap. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. Gotta do it. Uh, don't kill me! <laughs> Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. <laughs> there's gonna be a shitload of blood. <laughs> what if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine? and get the hell out of Savannah. Hey, I'm laying right here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. 
If we take off the arm, you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. Well, I honestly know how both outcomes go. Screw it, cut off, no, we leave it. I know how both outcomes go, and I'm gonna leave it. Leave it. Are you sure? You chose to keep yeah, your arm. I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Glenn. I'd be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yep. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. So you I'm for sure gonna side. die. Lee. No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? There's like no way this has a happy ending. I have to die. If I just cut off my arm, then you just get a uh, an unintentionally hilarious scene. And then this one epic moment later in the episode becomes less epic. But since, spoiler alert, Lee dies either way, I'm just going to keep the arm and That way that epic scene will be even more epic. Because that's the scene that I want to have happen in my playthrough. It probably would have been smarter to cut off, but oh well. Since I know how this Hope plays out. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Sounds good. Just a warning, guys. Get ready to be emotionally traumatized. Oh, now we get opening credits. This reminds me of the Final Hunger Games movie, by the way. Nice. This one scene. Quiet, everybody. Oh, gosh, There's you know something's there. gonna go wrong here. Yeah, I know. I'm already climbing. I love how I'm climbing through the opening credits. It's great. Just keep going. We got this. You're you're not gonna be fine, Lee. I was gonna say you're gonna be fine, but you're obviously not. Oh gosh. That was fucking close. Everything okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. <laughs> That's great. And then the creds just continue. Keep going, Lee. I'm pressing up. Oh. Something's gonna happen. Oh, no. Don't fall on the ladder. Okay, guys. Well, that's the end of the first episode of episode 5. Or first part of episode 5. This episode's fantastic. It's probably my favorite episode of the first season. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.